Hello, this is Dagogo Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time, we got the last crystal star, and we are now ready to go through the Thousand Year Door. But before we do that, since the Thousand Year Door is not a challenge to be taken lightly, we need to make some preparations. So we're going to head up to the surface at Rogueport and see what we can find. First, let me... What, kind, what, how, what items do I have? Hmm, yeah. We're gonna go up and see what we can find as far as supplies before we take on the challenge. Because it is definitely not to be taken lightly. And I barely made it out before that Magic Koopa hit me. I, I, I've never, I haven't usually had to go this way before. Because every time I go to the Thousand Year Door, I usually just, you know, it, it warps me back up to Professor Frankly to tell me where the next Crystal Star is, but I don't have to do that. I, I love how my, I love how this recording isn't dropping any frames. It's just so cool. Usually it's dropping a bunch, but since I changed those settings, now it doesn't drop any, and it, it's so, it's amazing. Anyway, um... I don't know, I don't really know what we can do to prepare, but we're gonna do everything we can. So let's see. Um, how many? We have five shine sprites, so we can upgrade people. So let's do that. We can only upgrade one person, though. So who is going to be the most useful? Let's see. Coops will do shell slam to tackle ground enemies. Dodgy fog to make Mario dodgy. Stampede to tackle ground enemies and infatuate to confuse all enemies. I remember Stampede was a pretty good move, so we're going to upgrade Yoshi. If only we had one more Shine Sprite, we could upgrade one more person, but oh well. Cool. Alright. Now let's head to the shops and see if there's anything we can buy. We might want to save our coins a bit for, like, uh, coin healing blocks. Uh, 200 coins. Uh, there's usually not that much useful stuff in here, but... Yeah, um... I would get this book, but I need to save my coins. Uh, we'll do that after the Thousand Year Door. That'll be one of the extra things. Because once, once I beat this game, I'll do some extra stuff too. Like that and uh, the Pit of a Hundred Trials and stuff like that. Okay, let's check the shop and see if there's anything useful before we take on the challenge. Um, I'm going to buy a few super shrooms. Those are pretty useful. Okay. Now how many... Okay. Uh, we're going to stop at the inn, too, to replenish our health. And then take on the final challenge. Let's get on Yoshi. He'll make us go faster. Okay, to the inn. I don't think we've actually ever slept in this inn. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Hey, Luigi. Let's see, adventures. Oh, of course, me. I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the Fair Princess Claire. That's one adventure I'm never going to forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bonkers, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Let's see, does he have a new story you can tell us? Oh, he does. Let's, let's listen to it. Well, like I said, it's a really long story. And this part is just crazy, but here goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The winds whistled down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. 
But the door, the, the door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because, as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I, could stop sh I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped into his, onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center into the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stung me. Schwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that, sound as my call, with that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even, wor an even worse beast came next. A nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Eclair. It was all over. And then I came back to Rogueport and had a light lunch, and that's about it. Huh, you think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Well, Luigi's completed his quest, and now we need to complete ours. Let's see what his partner has to say. Hey, you! Remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, that last battle was hairy. You have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but I was actually kind of relieved, if you can believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should just ask Luigi here. Wahaha. Well, it seems like he doesn't hate Luigi anymore. Hey, it's uh, the old toad guy. What's he want to say? Oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? No. Oh, if we don't find her soon, I fear I'll collapse from a lack of sleep, old boy. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. Okay. Um, I would like to sleep here. Do I have to talk to this guy? Yeah. Yes, I will use my in coupon. Okay. I think we are properly prepared now. Let's go to the Thousand Year Door. The final challenge. I think we're as prepared as we're ever going to get. Would like to have a little more HP, though. I mean, I don't know if 40 is enough. Well, I'll get more as I go through the Thousand Year Door. This is the beginning of the end, guys. We're almost there. Well, except after we beat the Thousand Year Door, I'll do the Pit of a Hundred Trials and all that other extra stuff. I'll get Ms. Maus as a partner, too, because you can do that. I'm not going to get her for the Thousand Year Door because she's really not that useful. But, you know, nice to have. I don't think we've seen Ms. Maus since, like, Glitzville or, or something. Glitzburg, der. Okay. Um, let's save really quick. And head on in to the Thousand Year Door. Bye, Professor Frankly. Have fun. Okay, now let's go in this thing for real this time. Oh, I love this place. It's so cool. It's kind of hard, but it's really cool. Okay, I could have sworn there's something down here. No, there's not. Okay. Let's avoid these things. I should probably be fighting more so I can get experience for the final battle, but I'll have plenty of chances to get experience. Ooh, a shooting star. Ah! Let's just fight this guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure if Yoshi is really going to be that effective here, but... 
Nope. The only problem with Yoshi is all of his attacks do one damage. He just does a lot of attacks. So if an enemy has a high defense, then he's not that useful. So we're gonna switch to Bobbery. I can only bomb the... Whoa, will this really do anything? Oh, now I've taken it out completely. Okay, finish him off, Bobbery. Yay! Ooh, we leveled up. Sweet! Yay, level up! Okay, we're gonna upgrade HP. Because I'm gonna need a lot of HP for the final fight, but I'm also gonna need a lot of FP. And BP helps too, but HP is kind of the, a big part of it. I remember my first playthrough of this game, I had a lot of trouble because I had... I, fr I, I wasn't, you know, I was young, so I didn't understand how to play this game right. And I upgraded HP, like, all the time, so I had, like, 70 HP, but only, like, 20 FP. And so, yeah, that didn't turn out too well. Okay. We need Vivian. So these... We've we've seen these guys before, Bullet Bills and the... Uh, uh, the th whatever they're called, the Bill Blasters, the, thing that sh the things that shoot these. We've seen these in Pirate's Grotto, but... Here, they're in the Thousand Year Door, and they're golden, so they're stronger. Okay, let's take him out. Not sure how much HP these guys have, but they're pretty strong. So I'm gonna power smash this one. Okay. Shade Fist. Oh, nothing. What? Oh, at least at least it Vivian burned that one. Okay. Um Wait, multi bounce. Oh, that did like nothing. <laughs> Fiery Jinx. Now we want to take out those bullet bills as quickly as possible because they do a lot of damage. Um, I don't really want to use that much um, FP though. I need to save that. Okay, hopefully I can take this out with Shade Fist. Nope. Oh well. Gonna take a lot of damage. Ah! Well, five damage isn't that bad, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. Oh, well, that was kind of pointless. Um, may as well just take it out so it doesn't... Oh, what? Two of them? Come on. Oh, now that thing's dead, so we're good. Now... FP! Yes! Bingo! Okay, that's nice, having more FP. We're gonna rely on those heavily. They will really help us a lot. Especially in the final fight, it's like, in the final fight, you're just sitting there like, please give me a Shine Sprite uh, bingo thing. Okay. Onward. Oh, this place. I remember this. Oh, fight.
Okay, so here, these spikes will pop up when we walk near them, so we have to be careful and walk slowly and stop whenever there's spikes. There's no way of telling where there are where they are except for just walking slowly. Oh jeez, that did a lot of damage. I'll be able to take this guy out quick. There we go, we win. Okay. Slowly. Okay, there's one there. I couldn't hit that one. We'll be able to take him out before he can use that ice storm. We're doing pretty good so far. But this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning, my friends. Okay, let's do the middle path. Okay, there's spikes there and there, so I guess we have to go up. What really sucks about this is if you get hit by a spike, you have to start over at the beginning of the room. We made it! Save block! Oh, I missed it. Okay. Now this... This is this is lots of fun. You have to get through here and avoid the fire. This is platforming. Ow. Now this turns into a true Mario game, except you can't jump as high. Dang it. I need to tr I need to keep moving. That's what I need to do. Cuz when I stop and try to avoid both at the same time, I end up getting hit. Okay, we're at like a little safe point here. Let's just take out this guy. This guy looks pretty strong. Power smash! And that took him out. Right, now we don't have to worry about him while avoiding fire. Okay, let's step on this middle thing. And go! Dang it! <laughs> and yeah, now I have to start all the way back here. I hate how you lose HP when you get hit, too. It's annoying. It's like, I need that HP for when I'm fighting. Not, you know, for this. Okay. Okay. Now we got this. Where we either have to jump over or go under. So we'll have Vivian out for this one. It looks like, well, you could go under these too, I guess. Only problem here is it takes a, it takes a while for Vivian to come out, so you have to time it right. We made it. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Wow, this is a big room. Deja vu. Deja vu. This is like Hooktail, but tougher. Okay. Or the, yeah, Hooktail's castle. Blurg, blurg. None shall pass by. That those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Ah! May the intruder never find the key to this door. See, doesn't this bring you guys back to Hooktail Castle? Because, you know, that's what happened in, uh... This is kind of what happened in Hooktail Castle. I think we have to get to this blue guy. Come on, blue guy. I, I need to hit you. No! Come back. I, 
wonder if Flurry would have any effect here. Probably not. The blue guy must have the key. Come here, you. Where'd he go? There he is. Can't hit him. There we go. Okay. Looks like Vivian can shine here with Fiery Jinx. Um, to start, though, we'll jump on Dark Bones. Okay, Vivian, Fiery Jinx. Bam! Okay, I'm kind of low on health. Multi bounce. Only one damage to all of them. That's kind of sucky. Okay, Super Shroom. Ow. Okay, I'm taking way too much damage. Dude, I have 6 HP left. Not cool. At least all they're all dead. Vivian, go in front. Um. Huh. And heal me again. Because I really need health. Okay, let's take this guy out. Oh, he's making more people. Shade Fist. Okay, um, I'm going to spring jump this guy. That should take him out. Yep, there we go. Uh, Vivian's weak. Vivian is weak. You can do it, Vivian. We should be able to take out this guy pretty easily. No, he's not dead. Darn. No, Vivian! And Vivian is dangerously weak. Jeez, that's a lot of... 57 star points. Dude. We'll be able to, um, uh, level up pretty soon. Vivian! Don't hang in there, Vivian! Okay, key. Vivian, you can do it. Okay. We're just, we're just gonna leave Vivian with us until she's pretty much...